When night falls, anger is released from apartment windows. To challenge the regime from the confines of one's home is one of the only options left for protesters. It's still a punishable offence, but not as risky as gathering in the streets. This winter, because of fierce repression, demonstrations are becoming much rarer. Even at the University of Tehran, once a key site of opposition to the regime. In the space of five months, one NGO has counted about 20,000 arrests and over 500 deaths. But the anger still appears stronger than the fear. This protester was arrested last October and later released. The fitness coach has opened up about her torture. She's been condemned to 11 months in jail and 85 whiplashes. I'll never abandon the objective of our movement, women, life, freedom. Many have promised to resume protests soon, saying authorities continue to ignore calls for more freedom. It's not stoppable because uh, our generation just cannot accept the things that are going on, like no freedom, no human rights. We're definitely going to continue, but how exactly I'm removing my hijab? To provide the movement with a concrete political future, exiled figures of opposition have announced the start of negotiations for a potential alliance. Amongst them, Reza Pahlavi, son of the Iranian Shah, the king who was overthrown in 1979. His name evokes the country's imperialist past, but many would see his return to Iran as a solution towards building a more democratic future.